Well, with less than six weeks to go now in the mayoral election or by-election, the race is definitely heating up, and that was certainly on display last night at a debate featuring five of the big names. CP24's Beatrice Vaseman joins us live with more on some of the fireworks that erupted last night, and a lot of those aims were at Olivia Chow, obviously because she's leading in the polls, Beatrice. For sure. When you're the perceived front runner, Jen, you've got a big bullseye on your back, and it means all of the other candidates, your closest rivals, are going to go after you. And it was clear that's exactly what was happening on stage last night in this debate hosted by the Daily Bread Food Bank when uh, there was periods of time after opening remarks and a few questions by the moderator. Different candidates had opportunities to start asking questions of their mayoral rivals. A lot of them opted to use their questions uh, to ask Olivia Chow to provide probe her on various policy issues. What would she do uh, when it comes to housing? She's already said she's going to build 10,000 affordable housing units uh, with rental supplements. Uh, that's not enough. So Mitzi Hunter, for example, pressed her on that. She acknowledged that that's only a drop in the bucket. Both uh, Anna Bailau and Brad Bradford uh, pushed Olivia Chow on property taxes. How much would she increase property taxes by here in the city of Toronto? And would those conversations and negotiations happen behind closed doors or would it be a Trans a transparent process. Uh, she said that they that's the way that she does things transparently uh, with public discourse, uh, saying that when she was on city council, she never voted for increases like that. Uh, then they also talked about uh, food insecurity. That's a, a big issue, of course, because it's hosted by the Daily Bread Food Bank. Uh, their number of people depending on the food bank here in the city has grown exponentially since the COVID-19 pandemic. So what would the candidates do to address that? And then, of course, TTC safety uh, and costs to run the Toronto Transit Commission were also uh, up for debate on the stage last night. Here's Mitzi Hunter and uh, Olivia Chow talking specifically about affordable housing. Your proposal on housing had a, had a headline of 25,000 units, but the fine print is only 10,000. That's the real promise. So, Olivia, to make things even worse, you only promised 30% affordable. So why isn't this more am ambitious, given the size of the problem of housing affordability? Why is it only 30%? That's too low, and 10,000 is not nearly enough to fix the problem. I agree with you. I totally agree with you that 10,000 units is a drop in the bucket. I, I agree. But it's better than none whatsoever. It's better than none being built and rent geared to income. It's better than, well, at least the city of Toronto is building it. And so you might notice uh, there was uh, one key mayoral candidate who was not uh, on stage last night, former police chief Mark Saunders. He was invited. He is the perceived uh, second uh, place candidate. If you look at the, the latest polls, he said he had a conflict in his calendar and was not able to make it. Josh Matlow uh, said that he was upset about it, that that's the person he most wanted to debate on some key issues. But we'll expect more debates to come over the course of the next six weeks as we go towards Election Day. That's coming up on June. June 26, and we'll also continue to hear from these candidates how they're going to address another big problem here in the city, Nick and Jen, a $1.5 billion hole in the budget. That's got to get filled. The question is how? Yeah, that's certainly a huge issue indeed. Okay, Beatrice Faisman live outside City Hall this morning. So again, she mentioned Mark Saunders was not on stage, mm -hmm. but there was an uninvited guest, a man who stormed the debate stage at one point last night, interrupting the event for several Thank minutes. You. Now, security Excuse guards me. did remove him, but he resisted and nearly pulled down the background as he was leaving. Candidates continued with the debate after police officers finally escorted him out of the building. Get 